Hey everybody, happy Saturday, Shabbat Shalom. Um, I just want to say thanks for tuning in. I know it's been a while since I've done any messages, but uh, as many of you know, I work retail. So these past few months have been kind of crazy. So, um, but hopefully I'll be doing some more videos in the upcoming weeks. I, well, the Lord, I don't want to say me. The Lord has a couple of things planning. I was driving the other day and he gave me two specific things that he wants to talk about. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, also, check out my husband's podcast page, The Revolt Podcast. Um, he's got some new messages and he's going to keep coming out with new things as well. So it's in conjunction with Freedom in Christ Ministries and The Revolt Podcast. So thanks for tuning in. But um, this message is going to be about strategic prayer. It's not going to be long. Um, basically, what I was doing is and I was about to put a post on Facebook about it. And I just kept going and I was like, you know what? Maybe this needs to be a, a message. And I heard, yeah, go ahead and do it. I said, okay, so I'll go ahead and do it. So this is going to be about strategic prayer, okay? Um, number one, I don't believe in unspoken prayer requests. Why? Well, I'm going to tell you why. Number one, it's not biblical, okay? Uh, nowhere in the Bible do they have vague prayers. Nowhere in the Bible do, do anybody has any vague prayers. Jesus prayed specifically. David prayed strategically and specifically. Paul prayed strategically and specifically. They all prayed strategically and specifically. They didn't just go around and be like, Oh, God, um, you know what we need. You know what's going on. Please help us. Amen. Nowhere in the Bible does it say that. And I'm going to tell you why I also don't believe in unspoken prayer requests. Okay? If you put out an unspoken prayer request on social media or you message me about an unspoken prayer request... I don't know how to pray for you. I don't know how to strategically, specifically pray for what your ailment is or what's going on. How am I supposed to know? I might miss something. I might be sitting there praying for all these things and miss exactly what you need prayer for. Don't be afraid to post your prayer requests or what you, what you specifically need prayer for. How are your brothers and sisters supposed to pray for you if they're just praying vague prayers? Okay, I believe in strategic, specific prayers prayer going after exactly what it is that you need prayer for for instance i have a friend who um whose mother-in-law had had fluid building up in her lungs or her heart right so do you want to know what i did i went into prayer and i went after that i said you know i said lord in the name of your son jesus christ may that fluid be drained and may it be dried up in the name of jesus that's strategic prayer, okay? I didn't just go in and be like, oh, God, uh, you know what's going on medically. Uh, bring healing in Jesus' name. No, I went after that specific fluid in her lungs, in her heart, to be drained and dried up in the name of Jesus, okay? Same with same with deliverance. Is somebody being oppressed by, by a specific by a specific demon or a specific spirit of, like, anxiety? You go after that. You, you know, I bind that spirit of anxiety in my brother and sister. May that spirit of anxiety be gone. And you, you do, you pray the word. The word says, don't be anxious for nothing, but in all circumstances, be grateful and pray for everything and be thankful for everything. Thank God what you, what you have and thank him for all he has done. Okay, you pray strategic, specific prayers. You use the word in your prayers to go against what these spirits or whatever it is is ailing these people. Like, for instance, you know, when somebody is sick and they need healing. The Bible says, I am a God who heals thee. Okay, the Bible talks about how Jesus healed people even from, like, just speaking from miles away. And that's faith. That's strategic prayer. I don't believe in the unspoken prayer requests, Okay. For instance, all right, here's a good example, okay, in war, okay, what do they do? They go after a specific target. They don't sit there with with a street sweeper or machine gun sitting there, you know, spraying it all, hoping to hit something. No, they sit there and they have their specific detail. They have their specific target, and that's what they go after. They don't sit there, like I said, and spray hoping to hit something because they might miss their, their actual target. And what happens? They get flat. They get they get kickback. Okay, so if you're afraid to even mention and mention what's wrong, 
then go on a private message or whatever, okay? Because you need to trust your brothers and sisters in praying for you. You need to trust your brothers and sisters in letting them know what your ailment is, what's going on. Do you need strength? Let us pray for strength. Do you need deliverance? Let us pray for deliverance. Do you need healing? Let us pray for healing. Do you have a headache? Let us bind that. Let us bind the spirit of inflammation. Let us bind whatever is, is squeezing onto your head and cut off the tentacles to loose your head. Do you see where I'm coming from? Do you see what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying now when it comes to strategic prayer. David prayed the whole book of Psalms is all about strategic prayer. David prayed for specific things. When his enemies were coming at him, what did, what did David do? He prayed that God would go after his enemies. When he needed strength or forgiveness, he prayed for that. He didn't say, oh God, you see all the problems in my life, help me. Amen. Okay, and that's what I don't believe in doing. If you if you put an unspoken prayer request and I come in here and I pray for everything that I can think of, I just might miss exactly what you need prayer for. Okay, that's why I don't believe in unspoken prayer requests. Okay, I believe in strategic, specific, going after exactly what you need prayer. Nowhere in the Bible do they do vague prayers. Go ahead and go through it. Jesus prayed specifically for those in the world, for those about to come into the world, for those he had, that has been given to him. He doesn't pray vague prayers for anybody. He prays specific, strategic prayers. Same with Paul. All of them did. So if you have an unspoken prayer request, I'm sorry, I can't pray for you because I don't know what I'm going after. I don't know how to pray for you if I don't know what I'm praying for. Don't be afraid to mention what you need prayer for because then the more people you have praying for that specific thing, the better chance you have of the number one, the prayer being answered, and number two, whatever it is that's going on, be gone in Jesus' name because it's only by the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus that that ailment or the strength that you need or the healing or the deliverance comes. So, um, I, like I said, this is just a short, really short message about strategic prayer and how unspoken prayer requests are really biblical okay if you're you're embarrassed about what you need then maybe you need to go to God yourself okay instead of having a vague prayer request out there I love to pray I'm a prayer warrior okay I have no problem praying I have no problem going after whatever it is that you need that you need prayer for I don't know if, if you're oppressed by a spirit well, let me at him because you know what me and my husband with our deliverance ministry I love going at the enemy it's one of my favorite things to do it's one of my favorite things to do is go after the enemy and anything that's ailing you anything that's binding you please let me know. I'd be more than happy to pray for you. But I need to know what I'm going after. I need to know how I'm attacking. And so do your brothers and sisters. Don't be vague. Be specific so we know how to be specific. Okay? This nice and quick. Nothing too long today. Just want to, you know, come back kind of slow. But, you know, like I said, I can't pray for you. And we can't pray for you if we don't know what we're going after. So... I pray y'all are having a great weekend. Um, I look forward to doing some more videos. Go ahead and check out, like I said, my husband's my husband's page, The Revolt Podcast. Like, share, subscribe, unlike, comment. Let's talk about this because if you see any, if you know of any verses in the Bible that goes against what I'm saying, please let me know because I'm all about iron sharpening iron. So um, y'all have a great night, and hopefully I'll be seeing you within the next week. Take care, y'all. Bye.